The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technician's Hour, Friday, the 14th of June, just about mid month. Okay, a couple of things we want to go through right here. Let me just do this because I had some some of it I uh, was asked to do um, during the uh, earlier show that was uh, when I did Tommy's show, and um, I didn't get to it. So let me just run this quickly. So the Dow. So you know you can talk about moon tides, you can talk about uh, Fibonacci, you can talk about Chapman wave, you can talk about uh, volume, you can talk about whatever you want. You can talk about cycles, you can talk about time, you can talk about price. I use a particular technique that I've used for a very long time. I developed a, initially I developed a technique that I when I used to hand chart that I call the seven wave form. And I meant that if the the price went up to first peak was A, then it went higher than that. It was a new leg, a, another peak. That is another leg starts. It goes to B, then it makes a peak. You can go to seven peak, seven waves. In other words, one takes you to leg A. Two takes you to peak A, and then you take, don't take out that bottom. You cannot take out the starting point. If you go to higher highs, so if you use seven waves, that takes you to a leg D. So you go, uh, let me just do this right here. Look, here it is. So you, I try to identify the lowest low, and then you count each successively higher peak. So here it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven takes you to D. Actually, to get to a peak D, it should be eight. But the idea is to get you from a buy signal upgraded to at least a buy mode. At that D, if certain uh, aspects are hit, there's a really good chance that you're going to get some kind of a turnaround, and it could be a sharp turnaround. So this is where other things can happen. Within two bars, three bars, I'm sorry, you could get a restart, and it could start a brand new buy signal to the upside with another four peaks, or it can have the sharpest decline. So that's where you have to do an assessment. And every once in a while, you get alternate counts, meaning you know you could be in continuation pattern or a brand new pattern. Let's not make it complicated. So many times over the decades, when I've got to a D in the Dow, it's where I start to become cautious. So we've been long. Look, here's the first uh, one of the most recent longs is back in 20. Uh, look, this one here, 2020 in March. We're still long the diamonds from there. We've got some left over, it's core position. And we've got, we've had shorts between then, but we've also had longs again back in 2022. And then the last major position that we were going to put on instead of the diamonds, I put in a, a Microsoft because it embraced the Dow, the S&P, the QQQ, uh, the um, XLK, which is the S&P Select uh, Spider Tech Sector. So it had a whole bunch of things, plus it had AI. So it had just, it was like my composite for a major move to the upside to all time highs. So within that context, when we got to this D, on that leg D, we started a short position, we had a long, we had started a short position, we the very next day we took off the, that trading long, we still got our core longs, but we added a short position which we've had from the very high of 520 of May of uh, 2024 at 40,077. That day we went short and we've been remain sh remaining short, haven't added to it because we've added through other, other means, right? So where are we now in the Dow? which is the indicator, uh, that's the Dow 30, but to me it embraces, really it embraces the economy, and that's what's saying that probably there's a slowdown in the Dow 30 type stocks, sectors, stocks, and that's impacting the TLT. This is, I'm trying to make this as cogent as I can. Uh, hopefully, um, yeah, so let me just do this. 
See, and don't forget, Larry right now is doing his live webinar. Should be real well. This is a great day for it, uh, especially when he looks at those retracements that fail. Right now, right, and there we go. The TLT is up 81 cents at 94.69. It's pushed away from the 200 pre moving average. You remember I was talking about peak D, and I was talking about alternate counts. Well, here's your peak D. Pulls back. It hasn't taken out the low of 87.50 that started the, 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 the last April uh, buy signal to buy mode. Therefore, I can continue with the same notation and just say D goes to E goes to F because I haven't started anything over. But the way that the stochastic reversed so sharply, the way the on-balance from the blue line, the daily chart, the way the MACD went negative and then went positive, the way the relative strength started to move back up says to me, you know, the, why is this doing that? Okay. The, the power of this particular move, it seems to be so great, especially if you're looking at the weekly down channel that broke its inside track repellent zone, and now it's a propellant zone. No, we haven't got an L. We haven't seen the pink nine period moving average on the weekly chart turn green to say, hey, this is going to give you even more impetus to the upside. But it's saying that yields are coming down TBT, because the TLT, the Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund, is, is rallying. And now you can see, broke the it's exact thing. This is the Chapman Wave. Uh, I, I didn't want to go through this again, but I'll just talk about it very briefly. This is the Chapman Wave um, inverted falling axe formation. Oh, I never showed it upside down. That's what I meant to do. So this is the, this pattern, this, this panel, is just the upside down of the Chapman Wave falling axe where I talk about it right here. I talk about it where it makes a high, then it makes lower highs and much lower lows, then it forms a base, and then it can make a turnaround, take out the, the l lower trend line, and form a cup formation. Well, lo and behold, this is the upside down. Just took the chart, turned it upside down. And what it says is you come sharply down, you make higher highs, uh, higher lows and much higher highs, then all of a sudden you stall and you fail. This is one that often, instead of going to a peak A or a B to make a, uh, a Chapman Wave um, dreaded H pattern, it goes a little further. And that says, this one might hold the left side low a little bit better. Well, this is the exact same thing upside down. There it is. And now we've got the reverse. It says, be careful, because you can drop sharply in a cup formation and that's the left side low that you have to monitor, the 20, 29 area. And you're at 32.85. And that just says that the yields could be coming down. Why? Because the Dow 30, the one that gives us all the clues that we need, the Dow 30 is failing. It isn't the select where you've got tech sector holding everything up. This is the broad market. It's the broad market because it has the XLF. Um, components. It has um, American Express and it has why should I, I used to know, I used to say uh, American Express uh, Goldman Sachs and the third one used to be uh, MA um, and MA right now is not there anymore, MasterCard so uh, within that context it has uh, some fi key financials and look at this, XLF is failing and that's the reason I think that it corresponds to what I'm looking at in gold. So that gold, instead of plummeting, it's just holding steady. It's, it's lousy, but it's not breaking down because gold often is a go-to place uh, when the either the economies of the world start to shake up a little bit with the banks or there's fear, the, the Middle East fear factor. So it's there. We're up 27 and 23, 45. Up the right bank. How's the chapman? Down, ooh, now down 326. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So, uh, hi, Basil Chaplin here, yeah, Dallas down to uh, 71. So we're looking, so uh, Duncan Steve uh, gives a note to the den. He says, by the way, happy Flag Day. Um, so I, he mentions and he goes all the way through very interesting uh, talk about the flag day and then he says um, 1916 President Woodrow Wilson marked the anniversary of the, the decree that's official day and he officially established June the 14th as flag day this is very interesting because I was thinking just the other day <clears throat> um, I'd forgotten all about it and as I'm looking at uh, some notes that I had made uh, about certain aspects of of, of uh, the market, looking at I mean, 1906 was you remember that was with uh, the that was when we had I think that was the Great Fire of San Francisco. That's also when Exxon I think there was it was had it was broken up um, and a number of things. And I remembered also that Woodrow Wilson um, had suffered a stroke. I think 1919, maybe. And he went on for about two years, and there's stories about his wife used to crack, uh, crack open the door slightly, put a hand out, and take whatever papers had to be signed and say, I'll get him to sign it. And then she would close the door, and it looked like, in fact, she signed many of the papers. Anyway, I thought it was just interesting. A little tidbit there. It just remind me when Steve said uh, 1916 Woodrow Wilson marked the anniversary of the of that decree by officially establishing June 14th as Flag Day. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a bounce. Nine, so 10.20 in the morning, now comes this next phase of the market. This is where the, the, the big institutions start to establish what they think they can do 
going in either for the end of the week, for the weekend, where they get taking off some, where they putting back. Just this is this is negotiation time for them for their portfolios. So you've got a repellent at the five minute chart peak E at the two hundred period moving average. That's thirty four twenty five. If it gets over thirty four twenty five, goes to thirty four twenty nine. Any time in the next hour. You could see some whippy action saying that we might have seen the low of the day uh, right here. Look at this. In the 10-minute chart, it had a very sharp pullback, but it didn't take out the low of uh, 53.97.75. And the, and look at the green nine period moving average. It suggests uh, don't rule out the fact that we could still go to a leg D in the ten minute chart. All I'm saying is that this is a very in, important moment. Now I wanted to do a bunch of things. I think I did everything I wanted to do, just to review. So let me just go through this. Wheat, thus wheat. Uh, wheat is trading up uh, one and a quarter points at six twenty one and a quarter. Look at that sharp move down. This is a leg. Is that an A? No, I think that's trough A. Uh, so that's a low that was made uh, 30th of May at 673 and a quarter. 673. Yes, it is. My eye. You know, when you do this enough times, you can identify troughs and peaks. And that's your only obligation in Chapman Wave is to always be sure that you, you have a very good sense of the count. And that's why I say put in an alternate count because you want to know if I'm wrong, what, what's going on. That's number one. Number two is when you go back, you put in a down arrow, even if it's after the fact, because it must look visually correct. You've got to get a sense of what's going on. And as I say, right now, 1020, I'm looking at time. Um, this is where uh, I would expect at least a chance of a bounce in the general market. In the meantime, back of the ranch, wheat is just the nine period moving average is very negative. It's way under the 14, under the 200 period moving average. That just says the wheat is going to struggle to close over 642 next week. It's just, it, it can do it, but it's going to be a struggle. And all the technicals are suggesting that if it does it, it needs speed. It needs to have one quick move to 632. The next thing is soybeans. This is uh, the continuous contract is trading down two and a quarter at 1187 and a quarter. It's the same sort of thing here. And there's your lowercase h that can go to a lowercase m. It's called, it's like a rectangle formation. Rule of thumb is if there is a close, two out of three closes, whatever time frame it is, if there are two out of three closes above the left side arch high at a peak A or B, and it's this one right here, the continuous contract high of the 22nd of March, which is at uh, 1243 and three quarters, if there are two closes, it's had one, but it hasn't had two. That's really good. Otherwise, it has a lowercase h. Watch out, because this first left side low, that's the first week of the 1st of March, of 111.45 uh, and a half. Whew. Take that out, and you're going straight to the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart of 111.19. Next thing we're looking at here is con. Con, as we say here in Boston. Con is trading... Peak A, peak B, peak C, going towards the inside track repellent zone. Uh, it's up uh, just a fraction, up uh, three quarters of a point at four. It's called a 460 right now. And it's in leg C. This is a nice attempt. This is a buy. I can call this a buy signal. And the day is young. But so far, uh, not even an hour into the first session, of the trading day, live trading day, um, the nine period moving average has flipped to positive. It's it's L. That means long. That's just one indicator. That means the nine fourteen is long, and the day's young. It's a daily chart. It could negate, but if you look at the weekly chart, it's a real struggle. I, I suspect that the four sixty five two hundred period exponential moving average is going to be strong resistance. But if it does that, it's broken the inside track. Repellent zone. Oh, I didn't give you support. Oh, I did. So the support level that it has to hold is 452. All right, it's at 459 right now. Uh, I wanted to sugar. Uh, yeah, sugar. A leg D in the daily chart by mode. Stochastics at 76. It needs to be at 80 percent, but it has at least done that, and has bounced off the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. But it's still not not a great chart at all. It just says it's attempting a rally but it's probably stuck in a range between 
uh, I'd say 20 and a quarter, 20 and a half, let's say, it's at 1993, uh, between 20 and a half and 18.80 for the, for, for the next week. All right, let's just do live cattle. Live cattle had a big spike. It went from a low bar to a peak D, I think. No, it went peak, peak A, B, C, D, pulls back, goes to a spike up E and then fails. And now it's in a trading band at 181. Uh, yeah, this is actually making higher highs and higher lows. So uh, cattle is doing very nicely. It's in a big rectangle for, mo for the moment. 176 is key support is at one, 181 and a quarter. And the weekly chart says, yeah, it's stuck in a range, but it is making higher highs and higher lows. Same thing with the uh, uh, monthly uh, chart. CC is the um, cocoa. Uh, sorry, yeah, Coco. Coco is uh, A, B, C, D, e, leg E, making higher highs, higher lows. It looks like it wants to retouch the cup formation in the weekly chart of uh, 6.06. Is that a 6? Yep, 6.06, .06, the week of the 17th of May. And if it goes just a penny above uh, 10,000, uh, 10.952, if it goes to 10.953, that saw's leg be in the month of chart. Coco is at a huge move and is still holding well. Coffee is KC. Uh, KC trading. Also doing very nicely. Not as strong, but doing very nicely. Uh, 224. I think it's stuck between 218 and 237. I'll be right back. Now it's down 292. It's only down 18. Okay. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. 
TFNN Educating Investors. This portion of the Tiger Technicians Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, right, we're back. So let me just do this uh, before I forget. Amazon, uh, Amazon is making the pattern that I call the arch formation. If you look at the weekly chart, it's just in a rectangle. It could digest. Okay, I need to put this in perspective. I was going to do that earlier, and I forgot. Almost forgot again. So this is what I'm looking at here. Amazon can digest gains and go all the way down to the 160, what was that, the low that was made, 165 or 66, I'll tell you right now, that beautiful candle at the bottom. 166.32 was the low of the 25th of April. Went to a peak D, pulls back, 191.70, pulls back to the 174s, and then rallies, and it's holding well. The 9 period moving average is holding green, but it looks like it's starting to stall a little bit. Stochastic's good. MACD's good. Everything's good. But the on-balance volume is suggesting that it's it's really struggling. If you look at uh, in the den, uh, was it Pat said, only 23.7% advancing stocks um, per fin finders. Yeah, this is, uh, this is something we've been monitoring because it's very select. Okay. So I need to put this in perspective and say Amazon is holding well. Now, what if, if I'm looking at arm holdings, and arms got you in an arm hold right now, arm holdings is trading at an all-time high. It hit 167.69. Well, the last high before that massive sell-off and all those round numbers that it had was just under 2,000, whoa, 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 was just under 164 round number high on the 20, 12th of uh, February. And round, all those round numbers were unbelievable. I haven't seen so many now. This is something that's a little bit more mature. It's a different situation. So it goes from from that 164 right down to 85, comes back, and it goes to an all-time high. It more it it more than it's a hundred points higher than it was. All right. So this is now leg B. Arm holding semi. It's in the semiconductor area. Licensing, I think. All that. So this is really important. Why? Because SMCI, also a round number, has had a big rally, but it hasn't gone back to the 1229 round number high that was made back in the week of the 8th of March and uh, plummets down to 700, <laughs> almost cut in half. And now it's had a fantastic rally up into the 960s and it comes back down and it's sort of stuck here. So it's digesting gains. This is, I'm getting to a point here and the point I'm trying to make is let's go to CrowdStrike. All-time high. I can't count this any other way than a leg B in the daily chart. Good fail, but it's a B. And it's an F slash B in the weekly chart. All-time high. Just three days ago, it's holding very nicely. The all-time high was uh, um, 390.71. I don't see any round numbers. I don't see any round numbers the next day. don't see any round numbers. Yes, I do today. It opened at 382. There's your clue. 382. Let's see what 382 does. Um, if, the, if it closes above 382 for two out of three sessions, almost negates it, it comes back and it'll become important. But at that point, it'll be, it will be won't be something to monitor. So I'm watching this very closely right now. It's 387.09. So why am I pointing this out? Because very select areas, very select stocks, and fewer and fewer leadership roles are being held and maintained and surpassed in the last couple of days. And that's going to be important, right? So if you go to Microsoft, so the reason why I want you to point this out is if we're talking about a digestive phase, normally when you get very overbought in a sector, that sector has, oh, it isn't a day, it isn't a week, it isn't two weeks. It could be almost six months before it comes back again. Well, <laughs> Um, I don't see that here. I just see that the market is getting ready 
for another big move to the upside. And it's more like in the summer, uh, by July, it might be moving. Uh, that's the way I'm looking at it. So that says, how does that work? Well, I'm going to use my Microsoft because Microsoft is, um, I've got a pattern that I talk about right here. I should I should put it into a square so you know that that's, ah, I'll try that. It's, no, I won't. So this is called the Chat Wave Stalk Leg Formation. I don't want to go into the whole thing, even though it's Technical Friday. Basically, you look at a long leg up. It's not just a single leg. It's, it's really a number of legs, but it's a long move to the upside. Then it takes time, and it has a consolidation with an oval pattern. It has to be combi a rectangle. That's something else. They become could become either a tight circle or an oval uh, or a a uh, narrow rectangle could become a propeller sharp midpoint for another move to the upside. Now, this is different. This is the stalk leg. The body takes a lot of time, and it absolutely looks like an oval. If it starts to become something like a square or a rectangle, that, that negates it completely. And then what you do is you wait, you have patience, and you need to see it spike to either a D or an E for the neck. And this is it. So this is the thing. This is the leg, the body, the neck, and then the neck has to go above, quite nicely above the body. Then it reverses, and you're not sure exactly when it. Uh, if this is is this the neck finishing, and now you're starting the beak. This is the beak right here. You, it's that's sometimes a little difficult to tell if you only make a slightly a modest neck. But then what happens is. You know how the the, the stalk or the, um, uh, um, the, the the these birds that have a long leg, they 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 tuck the other leg under the body, and they have this wide body, and then they have the neck, and the neck sometimes because it curves over and all that, it fits in with the beak. Sometimes it's tall like a crane, and sometimes it's not. I like to think of this as a stalk leg formation because this breaks out, and then what happens is. There's a sell-off, and that sell-off is the one to monitor. This is a weekly chart of Microsoft. If Microsoft takes out 433.60, closes just underneath it, and then bounces sharply above, that's really positive. If it takes it out and goes deeper into that body, you have to monitor it. And one of the things about this pattern is I used to think, oh, great, now I've got the neck. And, and the beak is going to go down. I can sit there. It's just going to go down, down, down. What happens with the beak, unless it takes out the bottom of the body, in this case down in the 380s, I, I don't see a move like that here. What happens is it comes down. And then when the beak is finished, it has a fantastic rally. I don't know why, but it has a And then you're on your own. Then you have to look at a different pattern. Well, that fits this whole scenario that says, wait a minute, we could have a digestive phase that goes maybe into end of June, beginning of July, whatever it is. And then we have another move, and you don't see the end of these stocks. But I'm kind of suspicious because many stocks tend to run, like Nvidia or um, like there. That's the best big winner, or car. They very often take quite a bit of a contact, die for price. I'll be back, we'll talk about it when I reach Dow's down 300. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. 
When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. I'm, I'm tackling away because um, I, I'm talking about the storm deck formation and just the difference between a crane and uh, a, a flamingo. Someone said, yeah, a flamingo. This so I'm looking, and all of a sudden on one of my computers, I look at the left, and I've got this screamer list of mid-cap 2000s that show up every once in a while that are strong, and one that's been showing up for a while, and I just don't know how to do it for subscribers, um, is Turns Pharmaceuticals and T-E-R-N. I thought, oh, now I've got a turn. I've got a stalk. I've got a turn. Anyway, it's not a T-U-R-N. It's a T-E-R-N. And look at this. I don't know <coughs> how to play it because it just keeps going high. It's walking the nine period moving average, using the 14 as a springboard. It's up 31 cents today at $8.29. It's just been on my list. I don't know, and it's got the U-shaped pattern. It says it should go to the um, high that was made back in, was that April or March? March, the week of the 15th of 8.18. Straining right now, oh, it was 8.18? No, it's not, that's eight. Oh, 868, and it's trading right now at 829. I thought, yeah, it had a Chapman Wave stalk, inverted stalk leg formation yesterday, um, and now it's doing exactly what it needs to do. It's going into the wick. It's holding there, I think, for the first, well, for a while. Uh, if it holds a little longer, it should try in the next two days for the high that was made. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, now I need to do this very, there, there, I want to finish this up here. So, um, better. Here again, it's not failing. It's in the nine period moving average in the weekly. I drew the rectangle. So this is I'm, my summation right now is this, that I think the weakness of the Dow 30 is pertaining to the uh, rally that we've seen in bonds so that yields can come down. That's the softness of the economy that often translates, and we can see it, <coughs> excuse me, in the Dow type stocks because it's such a broad it's only 30 stocks, but it's really brought as an index in the different sectors, number one. Number two is the specificity of the of AI. Now, let me just do this. I was speaking about Microsoft. I'm going to come back here. But look, AIQ, this is um, the uh, Global X Artificial Intelligent ETF, made an all-time high. It broke above the 33.45 high of November of 2021. Slumped, got cut in half, went down to 18.01 in October of 2022, and here it is, 
uh, trading just under yesterday's all-time high, and that was at 35.60 or something. Yeah, 35.67 is trading at 35.23. I have it in P at leg C, peak C. It could be an alternate count, F slash C. I really should have just add continue because it never took out the bottom. I never. I have to stick with my rules. My rules say that if you don't start over again and you're just continuing the pattern, just stay with the uh, continuing alphabetically, sequentially, and then you can have your alternate count just to be ready. So here it is, and it's got there's no other way I can count the weekly chart but to say it's a B. And all of this is suggesting that no matter how much we pull back, we don't take out the lows of um, April. In this case, 31.34. That's only four points, 11, 12 percent. Wow, you could pull back 12 percent. This is the way it's looking. So let me just sum this up. I'm going to keep summing it up because I'm doing it for myself when I do my. Uh, my hour-long uh, video for subscribers to my opening call, my overview video on Friday night or Saturday, I, I, I like to cover the big picture. That's what we really like to look at. And that's just saying we're rotating and we're correcting. But the really big ones like leg C and the artificial intelligence monthly, that says in 2024 we should still go to at least a D. Microsoft, Microsoft, Artificial intelligence, oh, it's in everything. It's uh, up, uh, cloud, the works. Has already made an E. Is this an instant restart? Is this going to be E slash A? All I know is that the monthly chart is looking terrific right now. The weekly chart's got the stalk leg formation. And as I see it, I don't see the low of 388 being hit at this point if it's a shorter term uh, digestive phase. If it's a short-term digestive phase, we could just have a high-level consolidation in these spectacular um, tech stocks and then start another move to the upside. It'll be completely different if Amazon and Microsoft and Meta and uh, Google all take out the lows of April. That's just different altogether. I needed to get that out the way. I needed to also point out with the IYT, look at the transports. This is ugly, ugly, ugly. Down a dollar fifty-four, at sixty-two point fifty-three, and that weekly chart has gone to a sell mode. This is a weekly. The monthly chart has made a peak. Dean is pulling back and digesting digesting gains. So Jets, this is the uh, Jets is the um, U.S. Global Jets ETF. Also, not a very pretty pattern in the day. The weekly chart, yep, it's making an arch formation, but it's been hugging the 200 period moving average of 20.54, and it's trading at 19.19. So it's not such a big deal, but it's not great. It's just not, I mean, it's not breaking down. Okay, so I needed to do that. I needed to also tell you that, um, yeah, you uh, are U -R -N -M, that's uranium. Um, pulling back quite sharply in the daily. Weekly chart still positive. Um, this is your Sprott Uranium minus ETF. URA is the, there we go, is the Global X Uranium ETF. It's actually a much better chart pattern, probably more CCJ than the other. But that re monthly chart is in leg E, holding very nicely. A peak E in the uh, weekly chart. Uh, it's a little different, and I would just say CCJ, which is really the leader uh, has is more the pattern of the URA, Kamiko Corporation Uranium uh, Fuel. So I need to touch that. The next question came in. Oh, yeah. So GM or is thinking of leaving Detroit? Good grief. GM and Detroit, aren't they synonymous? Anyway, so GM had a big sharp pullback. I call this a, a B because, um, oh, I shouldn't have. That was a peak A, P, A B, C. D, yeah, that should be a continuous pattern. It should have been E slash B. See, that's the reason why I do this. I've got to stick with my technique. Technique says E slash B, you could pull back, and a G slash C in the weekly. So GM is the best that we've out of the uh, autos that we've been looking at for a while. Sharp pullback, yeah, down $1.67. Tesla is going sideways. So he got his uh, 56 billion or a million, was it? Uh, and uh, well, that should make a happy man for an hour or two. What we're looking at, 179.06, down 3.41. I just said, I see Tesla in a trading band, but the arch formation of the weekly chart says, I will include, I'm not going to do it yet, I will include a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside later. I'm only showing you this is what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to do it now. And in this digestive phase, 
I suspect that's where Tesla could have a sharp pullback. In the meantime, key support is at 169. Close below, close. I'd have to say two closes under 169 will tell you that the upside is now very limited. All right. So what am I missing here? Oh, uh, let me just show you this. IWC. IWC is the microcaps. IWC. Did I do something wrong? IWC. Yeah, IWC microcaps. Uh, iShares not looking good in the monthly chart. The, uh, the chart is 11. 200 people with the average support that it keeps coming back to the string at 112.94. And the daily chart has, yeah, 112 support. So that's going to be really important. The Dow's come back. Everything is down to 5. This is not too bad. Minus 3. Dow's a chapter. Find the conditions out. I'll be The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYJUNE24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So we're back on the final segment here before you go to Steve Rose. Great programming coming up all day today. So we're looking at uh, TGB was a question to say, come mind straight with 232. Um, where, where's the next support? I said the next support is between two, uh, 218 and 205 area. And the resistance is 2.47 is trading at 232. It's got the Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down. Look to it. So I just be real careful there. Now, let me just do this because I think uh, uh, Nike, oh, Nike was a question. So Nike, oh, typed in the wrong place. Type right here. Okay. Nike. 
Uh, Nike is making, um, yeah, also got the same thing in reverse at 93. I'd say that 92s is probably a target for the next few days coming up. Um, that said, did I miss anything? I think I did. Everything. Okay, so Builder, the Builder is the um, ETF. Sorry, this builder is the builder's first source ink, building materials, manufacturing, um, so components, made a peak D in the monthly, peak D in the weekly, and the daily at 146.65 is under the 16200 uh, period moving average. I would say 137 is probably my, 141 to 137 is my target in June for builders, Toll Brothers, same thing coming down, uh, not bad today, just down two at 118. But I think if it takes out 114 support, hmm, you're going to be looking at the left side test of the 110 to 109 area. That must hold. So I thought I'd do that. So let me just say, the day is down. The Dow is down 204. Is that no? Is that right? India? Here we go. Yes, down 206. This is not a bad day after earlier on, but the pink nine period moving average is suggesting that the selling pressure should keep up. There could be little bounces and it could be a rotation to the downside, but you have to see the SMHs finally take a hit by being down three and a half points at some point in the next two days. Otherwise, it's going to be another high level consolidation. So with that said, I'm going to say have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for great programming. Check out my opening call daily newsletter.